Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshika Mishra. Let's look at today's top medical news. Could daily sauna sessions prevent menopausal weight gain? Study sheds light. New research presented at the Nutrition 2024, the annual meeting of the American Society for Nutrition, highlighted heat treatment as a method to encourage healthier aging. The study suggested that whole body heat therapy could be an effective and non-invasive method for managing both age-related and menopause-related weight gain and insulin resistance. Findings were published in the journal Current Developments in Nutrition. Menopause, the natural biological process marking the ends of women's reproductive years, typically occurs in the late 40s to early 50s. During menopause, hormonal changes, particularly the decrease in estrogen levels, can lead to various physical and emotional symptoms. One common issue is weight gain. This weight gain is often due to a slower metabolism, loss of muscle mass and changes in fat distribution. Managing weight during menopause can be challenging but is crucial for overall health as excess weight can increase the risk of heart disease, diabetes and other conditions. In a recent study, researchers investigated the effects of daily heat therapy on weight gain during menopause by using 10-month-old mice to model aging and mice with ovaries removed to stimulate postmenopausal conditions. To induce weight gain, the mice were fed a western diet with 45% of calories from fat. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. Acupuncture can help boost sleep quality in Parkinson's disease, according to a study. Parkinson's disease is a neurological disorder that impacts movement and can lead to cognitive changes. While there is no cure for Parkinson's, treatments are available to slow its progression and alleviate symptoms. Parkinson's disease worsens over time, but symptoms can be managed with medication, surgical treatments such as deep brain stimulation and occupational or physical therapies. While these therapies help with symptoms, they can also contribute to reducing sleep quality in people with Parkinson's disease. Poor sleep can worsen Parkinson's symptom and overall contribute to a worsened quality of life. To address this, researchers in China conducted a study to evaluate the effectiveness of acupuncture in improving sleep for Parkinson patients. The study was published in JAMA Network Open. In the study, researchers studied 78 participants aged 30 to 80 with moderate to severe sleep issues who were taking anti-Parkinson's medication. Before treatment, participants completed the Parkinson's disease sleep scale. Questionnaire to assess their sleep quality. Participants were randomly divided into two groups. One received real acupuncture while the other received placebo acupuncture. Both groups underwent 30 minute acupuncture session three times a week for four weeks. They completed the PTSS again after four weeks and then an eight week follow up. Clinical trial shows injection twice a year 100% effective in HIV treatment. Large scale clinical trial conducted in Uganda and South Africa have revealed a groundbreaking advancement in HIV prevention. The trials demonstrated that novel pre exposure prophylaxis medication administered twice a year completely protects young women from HIV infection. This discovery offers a promising new method for managing the virus, especially for those who struggle with daily medication adherence. The Purpose One trial, led by principal investigator Linda Gale Becker, tested the efficacy of two different drugs, daily pills and an injection of Lencapavir. Lencapavir, also known as LenLA, is a fusion capsid inhibitor that interferes with the HIV capsid, a protein envelope that protects the virus, genetic material and essential replication enzymes. Administered subcutaneously once every six months, Lencapovir proved to be a formidable defense against HIV. The randomized control trial included 5,000 participants across the location of Uganda and 25 sites in South Africa. The trial had three primary objectives. To determine if a six-monthly injection of Lencapovir was safe and more effective in preventing HIV infection among women aged 16 to 25 years compared to Truada, a daily PRE pill widely used for over a decade. Then to assess whether Descovi, a new daily pill with superior pharmacokinetic properties, was as effective as Truvada. Pharmacokinetics refers to how a drug moves into, through and out of the body. Next was to evaluate the overall efficacy and safety of Lencapovir in comparison to the other medications. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.